You psychic? X-ray vision. That's the only way you could possibly know what's in my hand. Well, no, I just take two and two and usually makes four. In that case, you should know you're in no position to make demands. Look, Carly, I know it kills you that Judge Carroll released Michael into my care, but he did, and it's working, so why don't you not rock the boat by petitioning for change? Probably starting to regret extending that open invite. Stop by a lot. No, it's, it's not a problem. I, I want you to come to me. Just like, like the other night, you were going to say something about what what happened in Pentonville. I mean, do you want to talk about it? Hey, your hands are shaking. Here. Hold on this. Hold tight. Okay? Hold tight. Now settle in a minute. Okay? So hold tight. Thank you. I don't know your name. Sean. Sean. I'm Molly. Pleased to meet you, Molly. I wish you were under happier circumstances. What the hell was that, huh? I, I find you fighting off some thug in an alley and crazy me. I assume you need help, but instead you, you come at me and let the bad guy get away. I was trying to save your dumb fool life. I watched my last man die. I don't... I don't care to repeat the experience. You can cut the ball, Siobhan. What's really going on? So you like living in Paris? Oh, I loved it. The city of lights. And love, but it wasn't really like that for me. I lived a very ordinary, solitary existence. Really? You didn't get lonely? I miss some people, but it was good. You know, that time of my life I needed to be alone. I took vacations by myself all the time. <laughs> this one time, I took a uh, walking tour in the UK. Get out of here. What? I did the same thing. You did? Where'd you go? Um, Cotswolds, uh, Pennine Way. North or South? South, you? Exmoor, the, the National, the National Park. Park. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Hitting on Robin like she's not even married. She's cheesing it up, just trying to get back at me for this. I seriously doubt that Robin is trying to make me girls right now. In fact, I will bet you my paycheck that she doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, my gun works just fine and I know how to use it. Some thug in an alley terrorizing a woman isn't much of a threat. Unless there's more going on than you're saying. Your ego knows no bounds. Just because you've been touching bombs and bullets of late and despite your moniker, no luck lasts forever. You know, that sounds suspiciously like real concern. Well, that's just odd. It just doesn't track because you broke up with me, remember? But does it mean I want to witness you beaten to death in an alley? So what, you ended it because I'm a cop? Because <laughs> you can't handle the danger of my job? You're wrong on, on so many different levels. I, I don't know where to start. Really? Don't stand there smirking. Thinking you know my mind and my heart. I'm serious, Siobhan. Is there some threat or danger that you haven't told me about? Chocolate's a casualty. What? You've got a phone. Would you like me to call someone? Or your mom, maybe? No, please don't. I don't want her knowing anything is wrong. Mind if I ask why not? Well, she freaks out easily. And a lot's gone on lately. So what happened? Did someone try to hurt you? 
I'm broken inside. Why would you say something like that? I'm bipolar. Sorry. Are you on meds? Oh, I haven't been to a doctor. I diagnosed myself. Pretty heavy diagnosis for such a little lady. Well, it's hereditary. I probably got it from my dad's side of the family. Unless there's something on my mom's side that we don't know about, which is entirely possible. The Cassidines are notoriously dark. So is my Uncle Sonny on my father's side. He's very bipolar. He's on meds now, so... Well, as a rule, it's, uh, it's best to get a conclusion like that from a medical profession. But let's run with it. What are your symptoms? Well, I have trouble focusing. I mean, one day I couldn't even conjugate the French verbs that I knew the night before. Another time I got so mad at my sister that I threw my mom's vase on the floor, which is so not me. I burst into tears for no apparent reason. I don't want to get out of bed or go to school. I even missed a day when I was supposed to get an award for heroism, which is kind of a joke. So what set you off before I walked up? A car accident. Oh yeah, I saw that when I was walking over. I heard the brake screech and then the crash and I just lost it. Completely. If I'm this bad now, I'll probably have to be committed into an asylum like Lucy Graham and Lady Audley's secret. Who knows? I might even die abroad. When uh, something terrible happens, like the stuff in nightmares. Um, how, how long does that take to get over? Uh, you know, usually bad stuff happens fast and you kind of live through it slow. You know, the thing itself could, could happen like that in a second. But working your way through it, finding a way to live with it without letting it kill you, that's what takes time. I read something once and I think I get what it means now. The soul isn't as resilient as the body. That makes sense. Yeah. Just remember that every day you're a step closer to healing and farther away from what happened. <laughs> the only two people who really understand me actually can help me out or you and Abby. Well, let me clear something up, Dante. You don't get to tell me what I can and can't do with my kid. All right, Michael's doing pretty good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so on your watch, Michael got involved with a hooker who was years <sighs> older than him. Where the hell were you and that lovely relationship started? Oh, I know, you were helping Brenda cover up a murder. So you know too. Yeah, I know. I know that Brenda killed Alexander and you dumped the body because God forbid precious little Brenda should have to face the consequences of her actions. That makes you the worst kind of hypocrite. And no one who should be in charge of my impressionable boy. Yeah, you know what? I've heard it all before from Lulu when she broke up with me. Lulu dumped you? There's a surprise. I thought she'd be blinded by your charm. Never see you for the hypocrite you are. Wow, who the hell are you to be so judgmental? Like you've never done anything questionable to protect someone you care about? But I did for Brenda was down out of compassion. Where the hell was your compassion for Michael? When I turned Michael in, it was partly because I didn't want him having to go through what I'm going through right now. Mm. The guilty secret that comes back to tear apart everything you've managed to build. You deserve everything that's happened to you and whatever hell you've got coming, and I can't wait to watch. I talked to mom about Abby. Made her promise to back off. You think she will? Mom, did Carly actually promise? 
Yeah. Okay, well, I think she will. You know, your mom's only trying to help you, right? Yeah, I know. I know, but it's not possible. My mom is the last person I can explain what happened in Penville to. For a minute, I thought it'd be Christina because what she went through with Kiefer. Knowing firsthand what it's like, like knowing no matter how hard you fight back, you can't win. Because the other person is bigger and stronger and relentless. I, I realized the difference was prison. Christina could have gotten out of her situation any time she wanted to. She, she, she could have gone to the cops or dad. She wasn't locked in a hellhole with somebody meaning to do her harm. She couldn't possibly comprehend that. But Abby did. Yeah, she did. Christina doesn't really realize anything's wrong, at least nothing that her hooking me up with her friends can't fix. What did you tell Christine you're not interested? Yeah, you, you caught me kidding me? I was blue in the face. Christine doesn't listen, she just plows ahead like she knows best. Reminds me of mom. Well, you gotta learn with Christina what I learned with your mom. You have to set those boundaries. As frustrating as it's gonna get, you gotta remember that they're, they're both doing it out of love. Yeah, I get that, I do. It's just... <sighs> and it was different with Abby. She didn't push or demand, she just listened to me. She didn't try to convince me that I was feeling something else. She... <sighs> she accepted me. The bad parts as well as the good. Or at least what she thought was good. What the hell's the point of even talking about this? Never gonna see Abby again. Hey. Hi. Hey, I got your message. Well, you didn't have to come all the way over here. Oh, that's okay. I was in the neighborhood. So is this about what we discussed? I did further research on fertility reconstruction. It's not as encouraging as I first thought. Okay, tell me. Y you could have the procedure and get pregnant and only have a 50% chance of carrying to term. 